Well, here I lay all my teeth extracted. Two of them exploded all over the room when they pulled them. And, uh, yeah, the lady that was assisting the dentist was, I think, really surprised by what I told her. I said, if my wife can go through the pain of childbirth, then I can go through this. And she looked at me like I had just said something she'd never heard before. And apparently, um, I had a tooth that had a, sorry for the grossness, but a pocket of infection stuck to it. And when they pulled the tooth out, the pocket was still attached to the tooth. I know it's gross, but it was pretty interesting for them, apparently, because they got all of their colleagues in the room to look at it. But yeah, um, now... I have to wait five months to get dentures. I think I shocked the crap out of him because while my teeth were exploding all over the room and flying left and right, and they were stabbing needles and everything, I just laid there and let them do what they needed to do. <laughs> and the dentist and the assistant looked at each other like in total surprise that I was able to go through that my teeth have always been very hard to pull. Now, I will never have to go through that again, and my pain is already subsiding somewhat. I mean, I'm just starting dealing with the pain of having all my teeth pulled, but the infections and the tooth pain are no more. Anyway, just thought I'd give you an update. Peace. I figured I'd go ahead and document my denture journey here. I'm on day three after they pulled all the teeth I had left in under an hour. Um, so you can see this weirdness. It's like I weigh 194 pounds now. Uh, just like four or five months ago, I was 236. And a few years before, my height was like 245, 246, something like that. But I'm, I haven't been this weight since I was a teenager. <clears throat> uh, not, a, not a good way to lose weight. Uh, didn't do it on purpose. I wanted to get back down to around 200, but this is all from being sick and having my tooth pulled. But there is one healthy aspect to this. One reason I've been dropping weight like crazy, too, uh, which is I went away from... Uh, seed oils. I went away from any of those cooking oils. I mean, olive oil's good, coconut oil's good. I have to take peanut oil off the list now that I understand how much fungus and different things there are in that. Um, but at least those two are great still. But other than that, it's fat and lard, or lard and tallow and butter and real fats. And guess what? Everybody else tells me I should be gaining weight, but I'm dropping it. And that's not just from not eating. That's from getting that poison hexene chemical out of my system, which is what they use to extract that oil with. And it stays in, and it affects your reproductive organs. But anyway, so if you're grossed out by dental stuff, and you want to turn away now, <clears throat> because I'm just going to show you the basic three-day healing that I have here, and that's as gory as it's going to get. I'll, I'll show you guys the uh, dentures when they get here, but this is as much to document it for me so I can see my progress. It's a nightmare, but it's a hell of a lot better than having the rotting, infected teeth that were killing me. I already feel better in ways. And an unexpected thing, my eyesight's been getting better for a lot of other reasons, but like half the floaters disappeared out of my eye after these teeth up here that were infected were pulled. Interesting, huh? Anyway, um, it's going to be months uh, before I get them because it just takes a while. I used to have the best insurance in the state of Oregon, and now I'm on the Oregon Health Plan, uh, so it's going to take like five months for me to get dentures. Five months till solid food. But I'll, I'll 
take those who want to go for a little journey on what that's about in video and I'm kind of out of it because I'm just messed up here sorry all right 10 day update after having all of my teeth extracted and I can say that I am almost healed pretty much on the bottom um, the top still has some craters that need to fill in from within but uh, I'm doing a lot better and the biggest thing is my irrational fear of starving to death because I couldn't really chew anything um, has faded. I know now if I have two rocks, if I had to, I can bash them together around some food and lick the paste. But I'm, I'm doing well and hopefully within another few months here I will look semi-normal at least with dentures in. And my speech is bad. I have a lot of lisps, but it's not as bad as I would have thought it would be. And I've been able to communicate fairly clearly on the phone to different places. So I'm gonna say that's a big positive. Anyway, uh, if you're watching this because you're gonna go through the journey yourself, that's why I'm documenting this other than for personal sake, just to see how things go over time. I'll probably put one big video together of all the different stages that I went through. So thank you for watching. All right, happy Easter. I am one day late in making this video because it's been exactly 30 days yesterday since I had my teeth pulled. And fair warning, um, in my first video I showed my bottom uh, gum and I'm about to show it again. So if you're squeamish turn away. So this is 30 days worth of healing I've still got a bone chip working its way out here. Oh Wow, okay. Never mind the the hole for the canine pretty much closed off over here So I've got still got kind of a crater up here for one, but the gum seems to be closing around it the hole for this canine is still open. I mean, it's closed, seems to be closing, but, um, and I haven't really talked much about this mess up over here, uh, but there is quite a bit of weird damage to this part of my jaw on the top. And it, it, it's, I'm not sure how my dentures are gonna take to it, but yeah, I'm doing pretty well. And I've learned to eat without teeth, which is mainly with utensils and anything that's soft enough to eat, you pretty much have to, your tongue becomes your tooth, at least in my case, because my jaws won't come together. So I can't use, I can't even gum something. It's maybe eventually my jaws will come together and I can chew things without teeth. But right now, if I can't cut it up with a knife and fork or smash it on the roof of my mouth, <clears throat> I ain't eating it. But uh, I do look forward to being able to eat again because even when I had what was left of my other teeth, I really couldn't chew anything. Um, I had to get as soft as food as possible because I was worried about the last couple of teeth I had to chew with breaking. Um, but yeah, no, that's my 30 day and it just happens to be on Easter. So happy Easter. Take care of yourself. Peace. Well, that represented 60 days worth of growth. I shaved just before, excuse me, I had my teeth pulled. And I have my first appointment tomorrow for, I'm not even sure, I don't think they're going to try to fit for dentures, dentures tomorrow, but um, they might. So I don't want my hair to get caught up in any kind of goo that they put in my mouth, molding goo, goo or something. Um, as far as the update goes for 60 days, 
pretty much all on the bottom are healed. It's kind of a train wreck with pieces of this and that sticking out and having flesh stuck to it. Um, some oddities over here, but it seems to be pretty much healed. This canine hole, I think, is effectively closed, but I've still got one spot back here that I think is being held open by a piece of tooth because I had one down here and I just rotated a piece of bone or tooth and it just went and closed. So I think something similar is going on here. So hopefully it will close on its own, but it's nice living without tooth pain all the time. And I feel better too, because I'm not constantly fighting infections in my jaw. So, so that is my 60 day update. Have a good one. Well, my appointment was half an hour ago, and now I get to learn how to speak, how to eat, how to live with dentures. It's a little far forward, but it is definitely improvement over rot. I just gotta learn how to speak and how to eat all over again. So handsome. <laughs> <laughs> So weird. <laughs> that feels normal still. Good. I'm glad. Okay. It's been a few hours now and I am talking better. Um, it helps to have the bottom glued in, but I know it looks weird. It's not me, but it is me. It will be me from now on. I'm not so sure I can handle the bulk of the material that's on the roof of my mouth right now, but I'm going to try. Once I glued these bottom ones in, things became a lot easier. And the, the doctor said it takes about two days to learn how to talk again, and then another two days after that to uh, really be able to learn how to chew. I stuck a little piece of frosting from a cake. No way in hell I could chew it. It's bizarre. But anyway, I won't bother you with too many updates, but I just wanted to say I'm talking better now. And I'm getting more used to it. And this is certainly a lot better than the black rot that used to show up. So even if nothing changes about these dentures, I'm so much better off now. It's ridiculous. So... If you've been putting it off, that's part of the reason that I've been putting this whole thing public. Is because people are afraid of this process, and I don't blame them. You gotta have nerves to steel, you gotta really cope. But the end result, I get to smile again, I get to chew again, and above all, I don't have constantly recurring infections in my face that could kill me or damage my heart and it's easy for me to say this stuff because I have a beautiful wife that loves me so you know other people are trying to find the love of their life they're going to be concerned about oh I got dentures I got dentures but luckily it's not something I have to worry about I have to worry about this lisp <laughs> but I don't have to worry about my lady hey guys um it's been a while since my last video on these dentures and um i wanted to share some of what i've learned number one is when you first get them you're going to be sore i've been sore all over the place and uh one of the main things that i've learned is at least in the beginning, while your gums are getting used to them, you want to use denture grip. Because even though my tops kind of fit really good, they don't stay in perfect place. And when you try to chew, it'll rub up against your gums in places that'll make them hurt. 
on the lower side of it, I did have some denture grip on that, but like if you chew on this side, then this side pops up. You chew on this side, then this side pops up. And that comes to the other thing, which is when you're chewing, you can't just chew on one side or the other. You gotta straight up chew with both sides like you're trying to chew something on both sides. But I'm slowly getting better at talking with them. And I just leave them in as long as I can every day. Um, eventually, my gums will adjust and I will be, I'll probably forget they're in there sometimes. Definitely think I need some adjustment because it feels like there's a giant wad of gum on the roof of my mouth and it's pretty thick. That's turmeric, the yellow on my fingers. I take turmeric every night, uh, twice a day actually with uh, cayenne pepper. But anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, if you have fitting appointments after, don't cancel them, go to them, because I was going to cancel mine when I saw how well these fit. But you don't really know until you have them for a while and you try to eat. So definitely get all of your fitting appointments, because um, I'm going to try to get them to reduce the amount of bulk on the roof of my mouth, because I don't think I'm really going to ever talk perfectly with the way it is now and also that's the other thing my mouth knows there's something in my mouth that's foreign so I've been getting kind of sick to my stomach because I've been having saliva running all the time but anyway it's more than worth it I, I feel better I look better uh, so don't be afraid of it Quick update, I don't have my dentures with me right now um, because they were off and kind of knew it, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. I figured that was the way I was going to look for the rest of my life with the extra amount of stuff stuffed up there, but they're redoing my dentures right now, so I didn't think they'd be able to. I thought I'd be stuck with them, so, but we'll see. Um, I made the statement that this is how I'll look for the rest of my life, and that was incorrect, so stay tuned, we'll find out how I'm really going to look. Okay, well here I am, just got back from the dentist, and these fit way better, I'm, I'm going to have to learn to talk again, I've been without them for quite a while now, but... You can see there's no more of that half an inch out. So, it, I mean, you're not going to avoid some of it being pushed out because you have a, a uh, inanimate object shoved in your mouth. It's not supposed to be there. But that's pretty darn good. I'm pretty happy. We'll see how things go in another two days, see how clearly I can speak. A little sore feeling over here, but not too bad. I look a little more like my old self. Okay, this is it. This is how I'm going to be forever. Well, until I can afford to buy another pair. But uh, yeah, the dentist really seemed to care about the fit. They even sent it back and had the whole simple jack thing removed from my dentures. But I figured out this time, since I started chewing, that about a two millimeter it needs that's too far it needs to be the teeth need to be like one millimeter longer each way for my mouth to close properly I can't chew without it stressing these muscles and joints I'll get used to it but it was really weird going in there because every time I went in there it was like oh I care we care we care we care and this time when I went in there and I was talking about it, because it was the first time I'd come back since being able to chew, they're like, well, you did read the pamphlet we sent home, didn't you? It's like, yeah, I told you very specifically what I discovered, which is that there's too much space between my teeth. Now, granted, I can, I can live with this. It doesn't look too bad. 
but it was just puzzling the shift from night to day to like, oh, let us fix that for you. Oh, let's take care of that. We really are interested, really are interested in what needs to be fixed on it to, did you read the pamphlet? Well, yeah, we can do that, but we'd have, we might have to, oh, geez, I'm sorry. So this is it. Um, I'm doing modifications on them slightly because uh, it's basically dental acrylic and my wife had some acrylic nail files and I've already taken a sharp spot down here so I don't have to bother with them anymore and I, I was so happy with the way they were acting initially and um, they did a good job it's just and it didn't seem like the the the, the denturist or whoever it is that does the actual dentures, he didn't seem upset. He didn't seem like he was dismissive. I just think it would have been a really difficult thing for him to put these through another process of fixing them. The dental hygienist or the dental assistant, on the other hand, seemed almost put off by the fact that I was back in the chair going, hey, I really have a hard time bringing my mouth together. And when I do, it's too far closed. But anyway, I'm happy. I'm talking better. Um, I ate four pieces of pizza in a row when I got these in this condition. But anyway, don't be afraid of dentures. If you need them, get them because it is life-changing.